Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited because we are going to be playing with some new complexion products from Burberry. I have picked up both of the new foundations that recently launched and this is the Ultimate Glow Foundation as well as the Ultimate Glow Cushion Foundation. Now, you might have thought that both of these were the same, but there is some differences. They may be slight, but definitely worth mentioning. And so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do a demo review and wear test today on my more dry, mature skin of the Ultimate Glow Foundation. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about these foundations and my thoughts on these and how they wear on my more mature skin and whose and which skin types might enjoy these two foundations, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so excited because we are going to be playing with the new Burberry. This is the Ultimate Glow Foundation as well as the ultimate glow cushion. I ended up getting both because I had heard they were actually two different animals. So we are gonna see if that is true or not. It could be that one is just gonna be perfect for travel and the other one could be just perfect for at home use. But I thought we'd have a little fun doing a half and half today. So we are going to start with the Ultimate Glow Foundation. And I ended up picking this up in the shade 40, which is light cool. And in the past, you guys, I have picked up Burberry foundations and they've been a little too light and I do not live by any place that sells the makeup. So I had kind of stuck to the 20s and 30s and those ended up being a little bit light. But one of my dear friends and subscribers here on YouTube had told me that she thinks light cool is going to be the ticket. And that's what we're going to go with. So first of all, let me show you the bottle. And you guys, it's a really nice glass bottle here. And it's got sort of the Burberry kind of plaid or tweed kind of emblem, um, kind of embossed on the cap here. You lift up and it's in a bottle like this. I absolutely love the Fresh Glow Primer. This is fantastic, but for today's purposes, we're just going to do half and half on prepped skins. So you guys, for the sake of time, I already put on my eyeballs and I did use Runway Palette. This sold out so quick and so I'm hoping that this is going to come back in stock, but I am going to do a full face of Burberry products, so that will be coming up as well. But for today, let's just focus on complexion. And first I'm gonna give you a swatch. Now here is a swatch of Light Cool. And this is in the Ultimate Glow Foundation right here. Then I picked up the Ultimate Glow Cushion. And again, I picked this up in the shade 40, which is Light Cool going to open this up first and here is the case it has a nice little mirror it comes with its own little puff and this is what it looks like when you open up the case I'm gonna peel this off here okay guys this is the ultimate glow foundation and then this is the ultimate glow cushion and they are similar, but I can see just slight differences if you guys can see that. So we'll see if this oxidizes on my skin and we're just going to have fun doing half and half a little wear test today and see how these work out. But first I'm going to give you a little bit of information on the foundations as I apply them. The new Ultimate Glow Fluid Foundation is Burberry's luxurious serum foundation. It has a blend of skincare and makeup for a multi-dimensional, youthful glow, day or night. 
It is formulated with a powerful blend of active skincare ingredients, including hyaluronic acid and viola extracts. This youth infusing formula plumps and smooths your skin with its eight hour hydrating properties for a visibly youthful complexion and ultimate radiance. This contains antioxidant rich white tea extracts that's going to help protect your skin from environmental damage and is enriched with light reflecting pearls to create a light from within finish. This is going to have a serum like texture. It is lightweight and very smooth on your skin. It's going to unify the complexion while giving it a second skin feel. You can apply this with a brush sponge or fingers and it is supposed to layer seamlessly to build coverage. It comes in 12 luminous shades and it is formulated without parabens and D5. Okay guys this is half my face with the ultimate glow as you can see you guys it's very glowy and I think that color looks perfect and this does feel very serum like it glided on like a dream and it feels like nothing on the skin. So now we're going to put the ultimate glow cushion on the other side. The new ultimate glow cushion foundation is Burberry's luxurious serum foundation in a compact form. A blend of skincare and makeup for a multi-dimensional youthful glow day or night. This again is formulated with a powerful blend of active skincare ingredients including hyaluronic acid and viola extracts. This youth infusing formula plumps and smooths your skin with its 24 hour hydrating properties for a visibly youthful complexion and ultimate radiance. This new formula contains antioxidant rich white tea extracts that help protect your skin from environmental damage and it is enriched with light reflecting pearls to create a lit from within finish. The skincare serum like texture is lightweight, smooth on your skin and unifies the complexion while giving a second skin feel. This is this one comes in six luminous shades and again it is formulated without parabens and DS. So you guys, quick little difference that I noticed, these seem to contain the same kind of skincare ingredients in the foundation, but in the glow foundation bottle. This one says that it has eight hours of sort of hydrating properties, whereas the cushion said that it had 24 hour hydrating properties. But besides that, the descriptions were pretty spot on. But I will tell you from applying these two foundations, there is a difference. So on the so on the cushion side, you guys, it feels a tad bit heavier. It also is a tad glowier. So I'm wondering if you can see this. Definitely is giving me a glow. And on this side, you guys, I am getting a little bit of pores right in this area. So this could have been user error, me putting on a little bit too much product. But this cushion definitely feels slightly heavier and slightly glowier whereas the ultimate glow foundation in the bottle seems to have that kind of lit from within that's going on on the skin but it doesn't feel as heavy in this area at all i almost feel like this one gives a slight blurring effect so i'm definitely feeling that both of them are giving me a glowy kind of finish but i am definitely feeling like I'm going to need to set the cushion side with powder like right away and feel like that's going to set the makeup whereas this one personally if it was just me and I wasn't on YouTube I may skip the powder. <laughs> now again I have 
dry, mature skin. So that does make a difference. I usually put a dusting of light powder on every day anyways, but there may be times when I forget to kind of set the makeup and I could get away without doing it on this particular side. So for today's purposes though, we are going to first kind of finish off the face. I'm just gonna do kind of a light makeup here. I am gonna use their palette and this is the Essentials Glow Palette. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush and then we will set everything. So, and then we will set everything with a little powder and again I will do a check-in for you. So I'm going to come into this cream kind of contour. This is my favorite and I'm just going to kind of come here. We're going to use this today. I really really love this palette you guys. I have done a couple different tutorials using it but I have really ended up loving this and using it a lot. So we're just going to blend that in. This is, you can see the product super easy to blend. Went a little too far on this side, but I'm going to put a little bit of blush on here. I'm going into the bottom blush here. I'm going to give myself just a little dusting. I'm going to come in and use a little bit of highlighter. Okay guys, I put on a little bit of blush, a little bit of contour, and then I'm just going to set, and then I'm going to go ahead and set the makeup. And I am using my Sicily. This is the loose powder here. And I am just going to put a little bit on both sides. Okay guys, I brought you in a little closer on this side of my face. We have the Ultimate Glow Foundation. And then on this side, we have the Ultimate Glow Cushion Foundation. I'm going to be curious to know which side you like better on camera, the kind of extra glowy side over here, which is the cushion, or just the ultimate glow on this side. And of course, I'm going to give you my thoughts as well. So, okay, so I'm going to give you my initial thoughts between these two foundations. And so far, I am preferring the ultimate glow glow foundation here. This feels very hydrating on my skin, but I do feel like it's blurring out, kind of giving me a little bit more of a velvety satin finish. It gives me that healthy lit from within glow, but it is not overly dewy. It also feels a little bit lighter on my skin as well. And I feel like this one's going to be great for year round. I think coming into the summer months, I feel like this is going to wear just a bit better because I'm still going to get that glow, but I'm a little bit concerned about the cushion side, which is extra dewy, that I may not need that extra dew during the summer months. So, so far, I'm personally loving this side, and I can't wait to try this out also with the Radiance Primer that I love. So next combination we'll do on camera is we'll use it with the primer, but for today's purposes, wanted to keep it simple in case you did not own that primer. Now, I'm also finding that this is more of a true medium kind of coverage, light to medium. I feel like this is very skin-like, but on this side, I feel like the cushion is providing me with a smidge more 
coverage. I definitely have to say it's definitely dewy and healthy. It just also feels a bit heavier on the skin. And I think that makes sense because it said on this side, it was going to have 24 hour hydrating properties. And I definitely feel like it is hydrating. Now I'm someone with dry skin, so this is not necessarily bothering me, but if I was going to recommend one for like all skin types, I would definitely say, I would definitely say the ultimate glow would probably feel better for people who have oily or combo skin. I'm worried that my my oily and combo skin peeps are going to feel like this is a bit too glowy because you're already seeing that glow on camera already and we haven't even done a wear test yet. So, so I'm imagining that this is going to be better kind of in the colder winter months and how that would be so pretty to kind of have that kind of fresh dewy kind of look when your skin is a bit more dry in those kind of winter months. So, so I'm definitely I glad I picked up both foundations because I'm finding them to be super pretty on the skin. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a long walk. I'm going to go do some work and I'm going to do a check-in and kind of show you what it looks like after eight hours of wear and then give you kind of my final thoughts on these foundations. So I will check back in a bit. Okay guys, I am back to do a check-in. I have been wearing this foundation for eight hours and I do have some thoughts to share with you. So first of all, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit close to kind of show you how this wore. Okay guys, nice close up here, but on this side, I wanted to show you, I am wearing the Ultimate Glow Cushion. And I don't know if you could see you guys, but my face is quite dewy. I did not touch up or anything like that. I think what I would tell you is that when I initially put it on, it felt just a tad bit heavier. And I did feel like it was emphasizing some of my pores right in this area. So as it has worn, this is not terrible. It's not like big polka dots or anything like that but I'm definitely seeing a little bit of pores right in this area that is kind of gathering and it does feel like a tad bit more and it does feel a tad bit heavier, a little bit more hydrating. So I actually think for someone with really, really dry skin, I think you're gonna love the cushion foundation. I think for myself, I'm really going to enjoy this kind of more in the colder winter months. Um, I think it is beautiful, but I do worry as we're coming into the warmer season that this may just be a bit too dewy. And this is kind of reminding me of the Clay de Poe Radiant Cushion. And the Radiant Cushion did exactly that. It kind of was a little bit too glowy and dewy by the end of the day. The Clay de Po one was actually even dewier than this is right now. And but just kind of that feel where it's just a tad bit heavy on the skin. And as I had mentioned previously, this cushion said that it had 24 hours of kind of hydrating properties that you can expect that. And I definitely feel like my skin is definitely hydrated, um, definitely dewy. And I just for myself am feeling like I would definitely need to touch up with powder and kind of smooth out this area right over here with pores. Now on this side, I'm hoping you can see, I'm not finding that the I'm not finding that it is collecting in the pores. I feel like it's just a little bit smoother on this side. I'm still finding that I'm getting that kind of lit from within. And again, I did not put a primer on. I'm just wearing the foundation on each side. But this one's kind of giving me that kind of more natural look. So on this side, you guys, it does feel a little bit lighter on the skin. It's still giving me sort of a lit from within glow, but it's definitely not quite as dewy. I feel like it wore really well throughout the day. And I think the biggest difference to me is that this side is just dewier, feels a tad bit heavier, and it's sort of collected in this area um, and 
emphasized a little bit of pores, whereas this side is just more velvety satin and I kind of feel like it looks a little bit more natural on the skin. Now the Ultimate Glow Foundation, this is $55. It comes in 12 luminous shades. That's not a huge range of shades to pick from. I'm actually in the shade 40. So the lightest shade is going to be 10, which is fair warm. And then the darkest shade is going to be 120 dark warm. So again, this could be tricky for both of my fairer skin friends as well as my darker skin tones. I think people in the middle range, light, medium, mediums, you're probably going to be able to find something within this range. But again, a little bit more limited in the shade range. And this is $58 and it did not come with a refill. I will tell you that it is very juicy. There's a lot of product in the cushion. So when I put my finger in there, it was very loaded up with products. And I will say a little went a long way. So the cushion again had a smidge more coverage. It is a little bit dewier, a little bit more hydrating. I think it's going to be great for those that have super dry skin. And with the cushion, there is only six shades and they all tend to be in the fair to light medium skin tones. So limited range on the cushions, at least here in the U.S. They, they may have a wider range in other countries, but here in the U.S. they were only selling six shades. So, so far I would say the winner for me is the Burberry Ultimate Glow on this side in the bottle. Just feels a little lighter, a little bit fresher on the skin. I'm excited to play with this with the Radiance Primer to see how that combination works. But I definitely wanted to try these new complexion products out because I have fallen in love with the Essential Glow Palette. You guys, I use this all the time. I also was able to pick up the Runway Eye Palette. That's what I'm wearing today and I'm going to do a tutorial, you guys, using a full face of Burberry products. So definitely wanted to check out these new foundations and I will continue to play. You will see these in other videos. So you guys let me know if you're planning to pick up either of these foundations or both or if you already have let me know your thoughts. I always love to hear what you think about products as well and thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video soon.